Hi, this is the Lucky Glider Rescue and Sanctuary Educational Series, and this video is specifically on how to make an emergency e-collar. You might wonder, why would I need an emergency e-collar uh, for a sugar glider? So let me, let me cover that very quickly. Sugar gliders, unfortunately, have a tendency towards uh, picking at themselves or others if there's a small wound or a scab. And in fact, they have a tendency towards self-mutilation. That's one of the things about these exotic animals that's a, a little bit upsetting. Uh, it might never ever happen, but if, if a sugar glider can get to its own wound, uh, and they can get wounds by poking themselves in the eye, they can get wounds by, uh, you know, being uh, overgroom by another sugar glider, and so on. At any rate, you have to put the emergency e-collar around their neck. Uh, e-collar stands for Elizabethan collar. Um, and you, you've seen these cones before probably on dogs so they can't scratch their ear if they have an ear infection or, or so on. So the key here is you don't want to wait to get to the vet. Uh, you, you want to get everything you need to make an e-collar ahead of time. And you are being able to do the e-collar and get it onto your pet before you get to the vet as a, as a first aid measure could in fact save your sugar glider's life. So here's what you'll need to make your emergency e-collar. First, you'll need a plastic yogurt lid. If you don't have a plastic yogurt lid, you can also use one of those uh, flexible plastic report covers uh, that, that you can get for uh, you know, school supplies. Second, you'll need a small stapler. Third, a regular pair of scissors. And lastly, some Dr. Scholl's moleskin. You can get Dr. Scholl's moleskin at the supermarket in the uh, first aid or pharmacy aisle. So the first step of making your emergency e-collar is to take the lid or the plastic report cover and to cut the rim off of the plastic lid and if it's not a plastic lid, if it's a plastic report cover, you can just cut a circle, a small circle of the material. Next, you'll want to get a pair of scissors and cut a V shape uh, into the lid, in towards the center of the lid, about you know three quarters of the way in. Now, once you've got that V shape cut in there, very carefully go in with the scissors and cut a circle in the middle of the lid, you know, down around the where you cut three quarters in. The result of your handiwork should look like this, kind of like a, a donut with a V cut out of it. Okay, next, take out your uh, Dr. Scholl's moleskin. Take one sheet of it out. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that on one side it's fuzzy, nice and soft, and on the other side it's like... Uh, uh, like uh, pressure-sensitive tape, and you actually have to take the tape part uh, off uh, in order to affix it to the collar later on. Uh, but you're going to want to cut a small uh, rectangle out of this sheet of moleskin at this point. Now the next step is you're going to take this little rectangle of uh, moleskin uh, pictured here in the yellow uh, and cut little V-shaped notches uh, out of it. Now the reason you want to do this is because you'll be bending this piece of moleskin on the uh, the inside uh, diameter of the uh, e-collar uh, so that you can protect the sugar glider's neck uh, and, and that way uh, he or she won't get cut on the rough edges of the plastic. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece that uh, you cut the little v-shapes out of and kind of bend it in half uh, you know, uh, horizontally as the dotted lines show here. And, uh, you know, once you have it kind of a uh, flexible uh, and you vent it, you can then take the sticky uh, ad adhesive strip off the back of it, you know, exposing the sticky backing of the moleskin, and then very carefully affix it uh, to the inside uh, edge of the collar such that the dotted line that we're showing here on the moleskin, you know, goes uh, on the inside part of the collar. So the result of your having affixed the Dr. Scholl's strip where you cut the little V-shapes out should look something like this. You can see the little yellow tabs 
you know, representing one side of the uh, you know, mole skin. Of course, if you flip the E. collar around, you'd see pretty much the same thing on the, on the other side. Okay, now here comes the hard part because now it's time to actually fit the uh, e-collar onto your sugar glider. We recommend uh, kind of wrapping him up in a, a piece of fleece uh, to keep him from thrashing around and that way you can keep his little arms and legs kind of bound up in, in the piece of fleece. That way you can hold him like a burrito with his head sticking out and then slip the uh, e-collar around his neck. Now just be very gentle. He's probably going to crab and try to bite, and and because it's it's no fun. None of them like it. Dogs don't like e collars. Birds don't like e collars. Sugar gliders don't like e collars. So we do recommend you uh, wrapping them uh, like a burrito uh, uh, with a fleece around the body and hold them tightly while you slip the e collar on. Now you know very gently you're going to kind of be holding the sugar glider in one hand and with the other hand kind of you know start gathering the edges of the uh, e-collar and to close that V. Uh, you know do it very gently and very slowly make sure it's snug but but don't you know don't uh, make it too tight because uh, you don't want to choke the sugar glider. So uh, you kind of hold with one hand the sugar glider and use the other one to kind of put the uh, e-collar uh, parts together and then using the same hand that you're holding the sugar glider with, you know, hold that part of the e-collar together where it needs to be fastened between your thumb and your forefinger. Now with your other hand, uh, you can use the small stapler to, you know, put a couple staplers uh, in the two pieces of the e-collar that are overlapped on one another as you close that V. Clearly, if you have someone who can help you with this, it's a lot easier you know, having four hands uh, than two. But again, this is an emergency procedure, so you just do the best you can. Congratulations, uh, looks like you've done it. Uh, remember, you gotta get to your vet. This is only an emergency uh, e-collar. Uh, you know, when you get to the veterinarian, they'll probably have a better you know, e-collar that can be used. Uh, a lot of times they use the avian uh, e-collars for sugar gliders. But don't leave the vet until you've tried that new e-collar on. Some of them have little snaps and they're either too tight or too loose. Uh, that's why the stapler suggestion is a pretty good one because you can get it just right. You'll have to hand feed your sugi uh, and keep the collar on. Uh, of course, sugar gliders like to hold their food, so this is very frustrating for them. So you can very gently hold them on their back and you can, you can feed them with an eyedropper or a syringe. Uh, it is okay to take the uh, e-collar off while they're eating, but you must supervise and stand vigil because you don't want them to start tearing at the wound and, you know, put you right back where you started. If they have an open wound or a wound that can be seen or smelled or picked at by other gliders, we recommend that you keep them separate in separate cages until the wound is completely healed. And when I say completely healed, I mean uh, with fur grown over it. This concludes our educational video on how to make an emergency e-collar. Be sure to tune in to the Lucky Glider Rescue channel here on YouTube for other educational videos.